Hello. So you're interested in getting into airsoft. Um, and airsoft, airsoft at this point is getting on a bit. You know, it's, it's a growing sport. So you might have seen something on YouTube, maybe the Desert Fox or Swamp Sniper or any of the dozens and dozens and dozens of awesome content creators out there. And you thought, you know what? I, I want to give it a try. Maybe maybe you've got a friend who's into it who's itching to take you to a game. But you don't you don't, you know, know if it's for you and you want to make sure that your first airsoft experience is a good one. Because nothing sours an experience quite as fast as well being un unprepared. So I'm here underneath all this to give you a few little items and a few little tips before going to your first game. So before buying this or this or this, what do you buy and what do you bring to your first game? Um, and I'm also going to say, you know, that you don't, you don't have to spend too much before going to your first game. Aside from War Comfy, you really don't have to spend much more than that. You know, I guess you've also got transport. But if you're playing with a friend, don't, you know, you don't have to then worry about things like hiring stuff. Because, let's be honest, hire packages that sites do are a bit on the cheap end. And that's not because the site doesn't want you to have a good time. That's because on a week-to-week -week basis, that kit's going to get abused by, you know, kids more often than not. So, yeah. If you can, find someone to go with who already has some kit that you can borrow. Right? I'm sure that rental kit is good enough for your first game but you never know you know something could go wrong and that might sour your experience but we're not talking about any of that today we are talking bare bones basic um and i'm gonna start off with saying water the number one thing you need is water because just sat here in all of this, I am sweating. Um, like this is this is thick, and I'm obviously also wearing a t-shirt. Like you will get hot, quick playing airsoft, even in the winter, running around like an absolute headless madman. You will get toasty while playing airsoft. So. Bring water and bring plenty of it. Like you, you, I'd say you want at least to be carrying a litre. You know, at least to start off with. Because you're going to go through that. Um, and if, you know, if you do finish that, then that's great. You know, most, most airsoft sites will have somewhere to refill your bottle. Or at the very least, buy more water so you're not just... You know, getting dehydrated. Um, and, you know, because dehydration leads to some very bad things. Worst of all, well, not worst of all, but you know what I mean. Worst of all, you stop playing and you don't have a good time. Which, if it's your first time doing something, you're never going to want to do it again. Um, yeah, I'm going to get this... Ugh this stuff off because I'm, you know, getting warm and I'm going to get a drink myself. Um, so I will say, you, know, you don't always need to be bringing water with you. It doesn't, you know, water's good. You, you know, it's your best option. Ugh. But water is, you know, I'm... Uh, 
there we go. But you can already see, I'm sweating like a pig. You know, like, ugh. just having that stuff on made me sweat like nobody's business. And it's, you know, it's the end of September and it's warmer than it really should be. Um, but I wouldn't, I'd probably still be sweating like this, you know, mid-December when it's two or three degrees. So, like I say, I am going uh, to reach into my bag of goodies. And, yeah, this, is, this isn't this is water. This is LucasAid. But LucasAid will also do you quite nicely. Because, you know, it's built, you know, like a, it's a sports drink. So having something like this on hand, you know, maybe not, you know, if you don't have much space on your rig on the kit that you're, you're taking onto the field, you just leave it with your bag and the rest of your stuff back at, you know, at the spawn or, you know, where you're, where you're, you know, putting you down your kit and setting up in the morning. And, you know, this will keep you going. Maybe, maybe take two bottles. One of something, you know, a bit more tasty like this. And then another of water, because, you know, you're going to get tired. And, you know, having something sugary will keep you going, at least until lunch. If, you know, your place has, like, a lunch break, which almost certainly it will. Um, and having something sugary brings me on to snacks. Because, again, running round, you will lose energy fast. <laughs> um... And, and, you know, different people have different snack preferences. I personally take a couple things. I am a large individual, so I like, yeah, I like to snack on the field if I've got the space. Um, and my old, my old chest rig, I only had one or two magazines at any one time, which meant the other two pouches that would have carried mags would carry snacks um so i am perfectly partial to some mawan pinballs because you know, they're light they're you know there's not they're not heavy they're not going to take up too much space you can fold them up it's better once you've opened them so you can get the air out even more you can fold them up stuff them in into your mag pouch or any other pouches you might have. And the same goes for, for beef jerky. Um, so yeah, like this, this stuff is good because, again, you know, especially if maybe you're, maybe for some reason you're going out to a Milsim for the first time. This is also good for Milsims and, and games where, you know, there aren't going to be quite as many, if any, breaks where... It's just non-stop gameplay all day. Um, and most of those sort of games, you are advised at some point to stop and have lunch. Um, but that doesn't mean the game's stopping. That just means you just pop a squat in a field, take out your packed lunch or what have you, and just eat. And, you know, so having something to keep you going is good. Did I go down to the co-op just to buy these? Yes, I did. Am I going to eat them right now? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Um, and talking of walking around all day, another thing that I won't put on the screen, because you know what shoes look like? Good shoes are a, a must. Um, because, again, walking around is tough. Especially for a fat ass like me. Um, so having... having shoes that have good ankle support you know for any sport that's a that's a good idea um and you know i'd also recommend not wearing brand new shoes because you know that's like new new walking boots or new work boots they're never comfortable like first thing you know they are never comfortable find me some caramel boots or, or some Under Armour or, you know, what have you. 
find me some boots that are comfortable the second you try them on. They don't exist. You know, <laughs> it's just not going to happen. Um, so wear the boots, especially again, if you're going to a weekend event that's almost not going to stop. You're going to be living in those boots for 24 to 48 or even in some events I've heard 72 or more hours. So wear those bastards in for at least a week, probably, before you, you know, you go. It's just a, a good, you know, way of ensuring that when you are there, you're not worrying about blisters or aching feet or anything like that. So, yeah. And finally, just bring a good vibe, you know. Um, I see it all the time, and it's just people not taking, you know, people taking this game maybe a bit too seriously. You know, at the end of the day, we're running around dressing up as army men with toy guns. Like, it's a great hobby, and it's a great sport, but like, I get if you, if, you're, if you are the type of person that wants to spend two or three or sometimes even more grand on your kit and your loadout to look just, mm, just perfect, spot on to, to a you know, real world setup or something from a movie or yada yada. Um, you know, that's more power to you. If you've got the time and the money and the drive to do that, I salute you. Because that shit looks cool as fuck. It's not my bag, and it's not what I do. But seeing someone who has a period accurate like kit from like the Cold War is insane. Like, especially if it's just a Warcon game. If you're just like fuck it, I I want to wear this today, and it's a, a you know a perfect you know to to the, you know, very perfect stitching on the webbing recreation of 2004 British military. Like, you know, peak war on terror, you know, Afghan, you know, Afghanistan war kit. Fair enough to you. Um, but that doesn't mean that if someone else isn't rocking up with that sort of kit, doesn't mean you, you can be a sour prick, you know, um, more often than not, people like that aren't, <laughs> like, most, most people in the hobby that I've come across are lovely, you know, they're, they're more than happy to, to chat to you and, and make you feel welcome, so, you know, very, you know, having assholes is in the, in this sport is not uncommon, um, but it's, it's rare. So, yeah, that, that should not be an issue. And if you go out there with a good attitude and a good vibe, you, you're gonna have a good time because, you know, just have fun with it. I, I one of my fondest memories of Airsoft is me and my girlfriend at the time running around our local site in the southwest she was carrying this big fuck off barrett replica blasting anime music at full volume like she was carrying a sniper rifle while also blasting anime music the least stealthy thing i think anyone can do and we both had a blast because <laughs> it was funny like, people were getting, like, a little bit miffed. And it got a point where we were being avoided. <laughs> but just, like, we were having the time of our lives. And that's what made me go, I'm enjoying this. This is fun. <laughs> and I want to do this again. Do I blast anime music uh, when I go now? No, because I have no one else to go with. I do now. <laughs> um, but, you know, I, I haven't been going with anyone for a few years, so 
just being on my own, blasting, you know, hyperactive anime music. Not my bag, you know. It was very much their bag because they found it funny and so did I. <laughs> but I'm not, you know, I'm not going to stick. I mean, I didn't, don't have the space on my kit to stick a large speaker. So, you know, I couldn't do it even if I wanted to. But yeah, just, you know, things to bring to an airsoft game. Water, snacks, footwear, good vibes. And if you can afford it, I pro. Because chances are the iPro they give you as a rental, it's going to be a bit shit. It's probably going to be a full face mask thing. And it's it's going to be uncomfortable, especially if you're an adult. You know, weird face shapes and things like that. Bring some iPro. Like, it doesn't have to be... It doesn't have to be... Like these bolly bolle, I don't know how to pronounce it. It doesn't have to be something like this. This cost me seventy odd quid. These, they're great and they've lasted me a very long time. But don't skimp on them either. Like you know, just buy something that you trust and you feel comfortable taking a BB with. You know, don't don't. Buy something for five quid off Amazon. I, you know, just a personal thing. I would personally avoid buying a soft kit from Amazon anyway. Um, except in one case. There is a brand called One Tigress, which does sell on Amazon. Um, they have like a whole Amazon store, like store page. And you can buy from them. Um, or if you find like a fairly reputable uh, brand that's selling stuff, that has stuff on Amazon, maybe go that way. But I would much prefer, you know, going to a soft specific website or even if it's a shop, go to a shop and test out this kit and hold it in your hands and see if it works for you. Do it that way. And that way, you know, you know, you know what you're buying. But yeah, now you are sort of ready for your very first SF game. I do hope you enjoy. Welcome to the hobby. And if it's your first time on this YouTube channel, why don't you subscribe? Why don't you drop a like if you like this video and maybe a dislike if you didn't? Maybe you thought I waffled on for too long. I did. And I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Just just click a button. Whichever one of those, you know, you click, it does something for this channel. So thank you. Um, and if you do stick around, I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye. I've lost my voice now. <laughs>